Hi there, everybody. Hey, welcome back to the final hour. It is uh, January the 13th, 2023. It's Friday the 13th, and it's option expiry day. We have a couple of trillion dollars in options that are evaporating into thin air today. And we're watching just all kinds of uh, interesting trading patterns and everything else going on. Um, thank you all for, for being here, and, and great to have you uh oh my goodness miss debbie manuel how are you doing man is this this is wonderful thank you for being here love you too um uh, man haven't seen you in a long time this is fantastic guys we are um looking at a market here where we're up 50 points on the dow we've only been up 70 something for the high of the day so we're actually near the high of the day believe it or not. uh gamestop is trading at 2044 down 19 cents atip is the star of the show there's no question about this 41.9 cents a share, uh, up eight and a half on over 2 million volume now. We've traded 2,071,000 shares. The high today, 48 cents, uh, just after uh, about 1045. This is a stock that uh, has been in the doldrums for so long. The low of the year, 22.4 cents. And this is definitely the highest level we've had in in a in a month, but it's not the highest in three months. Uh, three months ago, back in uh, November one, dollar seventeen a share. So we got a bit of ground to make up here, but you know, uh, we take it one penny at a time. Whenever they give it to us, forty one point nine cents, pushing forty two right now. Go A T I P. Go. Uh, Tesla, 121.05, um, down 251. This morning, it started off um, at about $115.60. $115.60 was the early morning trade, about, oh, about uh, just before 10 o'clock. And then um, uh, the rally came on. It reached 121.65. That was the high of the day around 10.30. We've been trying to reach that level ever since, and we're now zeroing in on it. The stock now is within about 40, 53 cents from hitting the high of the day again. And if it does this, it, it could go beyond this. So we'll see 154 million traded, very heavy volume on Tesla. The, the jury is out because the company cut their car prices overnight. Is this bad or is this good or just what do we make of it? The initial reaction was negative. People think, oh, they're losing all this uh, money. They're giving away these profits. Well, you don't give away profits when you don't sell product. <laughs> but if you sell product, you ramp up sales by cutting prices. Now, when we're on, you nail competition right where it hurts. That really hurts it off and keeps it out of, out of harm's way. But you ramp up your volume. And if you can move more merchandise, produce more cars, everything is higher volume. You get lower prices to produce higher margins when producing. So, you know, one is the other. They're protecting their, their market, uh, of course. They got a massive lead everywhere they go. And those tax credits are going to come in. And these cars now qualify, the Model 3 and the Model Y, they specifically now qualify for up to $7,500 in tax credits on top of the discounts. This could push a whole lot of people over the edge to see, I'm in, I'm getting myself a Tesla. We'll watch for that. 12106. SoFi 546. We're up nine cents on SoFi. This morning we were down to 519. And uh it took a while, but the stock came uh, came around. Uh 27 million have traded, a little over 27.4 million. The high today, 549, just under 550. The stock is slowly but surely ramping up. At the end of this month, their latest earnings report come out. They'll have their telephone call. They want the world to know how well they're doing. They're not eager. They're not uh, they're not uh, uh not eager, they're not uh you know. In, they're not interested in keeping information to themselves. They want the world to know how they're doing. They're quite eager to talk about how well they're doing. And uh, the shares are beginning to run up. Of course, there are no tax law sellers left anymore. They were all done in December and November. We're through into a new year. There's money coming into this stock. So this should be interesting. Apple, 134.12. Uh, we were trying to get to 133 this morning. Now we're 134.12, up 71 cents, looking good. HPQ was as low as 27.62 today, around 11.15. Then it turned, and it is now back up here to 20. 
uh, 803, still down 52 cents, but um, a turnaround has been happening on HBQ today. Google 92.38 is up 47 cents. We were in the red this morning down to 90.93. Now are 92.38 and climbing as the final hour comes through. Moderna up a dollar 20 to 189.26. Cisco down 12 cents, but only down 12 at 48.88. Pfizer up 28 today, 47.98. IBM up 24, 145.79. Microsoft is just down 41 cents. The low today on Microsoft, 234.95. Now trading at 238.07 and coming on a little more. We may well go into the green here if this keeps coming the way it is. Good. Keep on going. ME, 23 and Me up a half a penny at 239 and a half. Rocket Lab up 15 cents at $4.98. We've been through five today. We might do it again. Matterport uh, down eight cents to 310, almost 311. Smart Rent up eight and a half at 276. Spire up three cents to 125. And Sextera up two, $2.37. Amazon up 256, uh, Home Depot down just 27 cents, Netflix up 269, Vanic Vectors up 2 cents to $225. We've got uh, <laughs> we got Vanic up 2 cents, we got Adobe down 278, Goldman up $2.80, uh, Boeing down 85 cents, Meta uh, up 7, uh, Royal Caribbean up 71 cents, uh, Robinhood up 19, Carvana down 112. Um, what else we got here? Target is up 415, JP Morgan up 350, Costco up 57 cents, Walmart up 29, Disney down 64, and uh, NVIDIA Corp uh, 303 is the uh, uptick. Uh, John, John Zumwalt, uh, <laughs> thank you for. <laughs> A donation or two on PayPal. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. I don't know what he's. I'm not sure if he knows what he's doing. Um, what is happening there? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, John, how you doing, buddy? Um, appreciate the. I think I appreciate the support. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> no message sent. Uh, just a donation, and you're a good man. Uh, thank you, man. From uh, uh, Jonesburg, uh, M O. Is that Missouri? Is M-O stand for Missouri? I think it does. Uh, thank you, sir, uh, as always. <laughs> you guys are great. Uh, all righty, let's keep on going here. We've got uh, got an interesting uh, last hour happening here. 57-point gain on the Dow, and uh, we're going to see just where everything falls into place. Um, uh, the Dow, as I said, is is up. Uh, so is the um, so are the S&P and NASDAQ markets. Uh, I've got... See if I can get this to pop up nicely here. Uh, here we go. There, I hope. Yeah. Okay. We're we're up eight and a half on S and P. We're up thirty eight on Nasdaq. Uh, the Dow's up 0.16 of a percentage point. S and P up 0.21 and Nasdaq 0.35. So it's a slight gain, but it is a gain nonetheless. Um, the oil market uh, up one fifty a barrel to seventy nine eighty nine. Trying to get back to eighty where we were at the end of December. Um, and um, all eyes really have been on in on this channel today have on have been on ATIP. I have to admit we've all been watching it. We've all been getting a kick out of the fact that ATIP has uh, broken the forty barrier um, almost almost at fifty. Uh, it's a start. Uh, thank you by the way for seventy one thumbs ups. All of you guys uh, appreciate the seventy one thumbs ups. Uh, the madness started with Lorraine Mandu five Hector Mark was here DQ Deep Value came in there. Thank you, guys. Um, and uh, Mike Kelly, Richard, uh, thank you. Zach, I'm number lucky 13 for Friday 13th. Uh, Nicholas, number 16, fun, 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 17. Debbie Manuel, thank you, number 21, thumbs up. I love you too, Deb. R R Ricardo, 18. Amy, 19. Abram, number 23. AJ, thank you, pal. Hi, John. Nick, DeMaurier, 31. Sell my house fast enough for Marlboro. I'm number 32. DH, 34. Wing Commander, 33. Uh, do you think this is an ATIP short squeeze? It could have been, and we might still be in it. Brian, number 42, uh, not a looker anymore. It's number 41. ATIP DQ says is up 23.79%. Hawkeye's here at number 46. Jared, 44. It's Ryan. Laugh out loud one. Remember, ATIP started at $10. They all did. It's been an unbelievable year or two here. John's touch bad, 53. Wilson, 54. Larry's high, y'all, number 55 here. 
Uh, Alberto says, uh, Uncle, you can begin now. Good afternoon, Bagel Familia. How you doing all? Uh, Julia is saying, did you see the Tesla in San Francisco that caused an eight-car pileup on the Bay Bridge because of self-driving? It's on the video, and it's crazy. I haven't seen this. I haven't checked it out. Deuce Caboose, man, as soon as Deuce loaded on ATIP, she drops. It's like clockwork. Uh, not a lurker anymore. Alberto, hello. Uh, Mitch, Mitch, uh, Bruce, do you think ATIP will still be able to meet its financial confidence in 2023, absent a new source of cash? For liquidity, uh, they have got huge backing. Uh, their biggest shareholder is an $80 billion hedge fund. Um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. The question is, can they hire enough people to handle the demand of their services? That's the question. 41 and a half cents here. Um, looks like it's coming on a little more. Alberto, not a lurker anymore, but I can't say your name without spitting up coffee. <laughs> Ah, right on. Um, Matthew, yeah, man, I had to roll up my Apple calls today. Only, uh, only had to go up one month. Love these premiums. DQ, Alberto, don't say that or Beach Boy will accuse you of having a medical condition. <laughs> uh, Splair, howdy, all of you guys. Uh, last 50 minutes of the week here uh, until we're done. Uh, unbelievable how quickly this always goes. Alex, number 761, it's an ATIP kind of a day. Alberto, DQ, laughing. Maria's here, number 64. Good afternoon. Tiff, number 69. Uh, Lurker, uh, Alberto, a pickup on aisle one. Cindy, number 77. Oscar, I'm 74. Uh, Mitch, if you ever see 100 likes, then 109. That's me. I'm going to be fooling around with that. Sean and Wendy, number 71. Go so far is at number 80. Uh, life is easy. Uh, laugh on that. Now that's funny. It says, it says life. Um, Alex, my average on ATIP started at around 9.30. And I've averaged all the way down to 66 cents. See, neat, neat, neat. And we're getting there. 41.9. Jennifer Lane, are we going higher? Uh, go so far. I bought a, I bought ATIP 5,000 after bailing out another account since I needed cash. Bama babe. Man, you guys are really, are really busy on Discord today. Um, constantly, I was able to get four more deep in the money and wrote four calls for next week at tw uh, for 21 for a dollar just for fun. Charlie, Uncle Bruce, I picked up 200 shares of Tesla, sold um, uh, two covered call 135s for July for $17.95 and uh, a $144, uh, $16.45 for July. That's a nice move. Those are those are nice premiums. Wilson, if uh, MUL doesn't register, it's 10 grand today. What happens? I have no idea what MULN is. Flint Creek, the volume in ATIP over 2 million. Joe K, what's good? I'm number 88. Uh, Coyote, Alex, that is how you average down. Nice job there, buddy. Way to go. Spicy number 90, DQ Bamba Babe. I said hi to you on Discord. You didn't reply to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get him. Added more ATIP average, 47 now. Let's go. Coyote, don't forget, Discord has a do not disturb setting which where it will silence notifications if it ever gets to be too much while working or trading. Uh, sell my house fast in Upper Marlboro. I heard a story today about a software engineer who embezzled 300000 from his company. He said the money was gone. He invested it into GameStop. Did he buy it 300 a share? I, I wonder. What, what, what did he do? Zed Estate, number 94 thumbs ups. Alex Coyote, thank you, sir. Thank you all for these thumbs ups. We're pushing 100 already. I appreciate this. Uh, we'd like to hit, uh, we'd like to push for 100 thumbs ups on the afternoon show. It looks like we're easily going to do it again today. Thank you, those of you who have uh, helped out already. If you can hit that thumbs up button and uh, get us through 100 and even beyond, that would be beautiful. We love it. Thank you all. We're going members only on chat right now. Thank you, all of you who are members. Thank you, all of you who have been renewing your memberships. Those of you who have uh, upgraded your memberships right up to the gold bagel level member. That, thank you all. Uh, you guys are keeping us uh, going. Uh, those of you taking classes, um, uh, congrats. Um, you're getting smarter at this, and it's this is what it's all about. You are up against some uh, very savvy traders on Wall Street. Um, all you need to figure out is how to write calls, uh, call contracts, and you yourselves can make some really nice money. Um, and uh, uh, picking off these $150 classes is the way to go. It's the investment you make into yourself that will pay you back handsomely, I am sure. Uh, Wing Commander, I bought more ATIP. I'm averaging down to 59 and a half. Coyote, sell my house fast up in Marlboro. Considering he thought he could get away with embezzling money, yeah, he probably bought it 300 Flint Creek, my ATIP in the money, that feels good. Beach Boy, number 81 
Okay, whose medical condition is being affected by ATIP? DQ, Alberto Splare, out with it. Uh, Bama, babe. DQ, I sent you a, uh, I sent you a drink to the bar. Uh, DQ, uh, sell my house fast. He probably bought five hundred dollar calls. Not a lurker anymore. Hello, uh, go so far. Pardon the pun. Uh, Christina, I want to be number one hundred. Let me know when we're at ninety nine. Alex, uh, sell my house. I guess a degenerate like that would be buying short term calls. Who knows? Maybe he sold him some. Who knows? Tip. Discord also has settings to adjust notification. I only get notifications if someone is at me. There is a manual on the How to Discord channel. Alberto Sofi has always been. Uh, what is it? So Sofi. But I would have loved another dip. Um, Christina, not as handsome as apparently Tiff is. Don't know what's going on here. Um, let's go. Um, not as handsome. Okay. DQ, Beach Boy. It's already drunk at ATMP. I hope mostly rum, uh, whatever. Bobby, uh, how long does a Discord invite last? I, I don't know. I don't run Discord. Um, I can help you get Discord if you want to go to Discord. I don't hang out there. You guys hang out there on your own. Um, it's run by Tiff, and uh, it's a great place for you guys to compare notes and uh, then come visit me when I'm on the air and then head over there again. Fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm hoping it's all working out for you. We're at 546 on SoFi up a dime. We're at 41.9 on ATIP up 8.5. Apple up 93. GameStop down 23. Tesla down 198 at 121.58. I think the Tesla market is zeroing in on the high of the day which is 2190 so we're, we're headed that direction 2160 only 30 cents short of that mark the dow is up 60 s p up nine and a half nasdaq up 48 so we'll see if there's a late surge to this market um how it goes uh the dow got up to 34,269. it's now 34,250. So we're about 19 20 points away from the high of the day around that 80 81 point mark is the high of the day for the Dow Jones, and we're only 15 points away now from that level. Um, 2042 on GameStop down 21. Uh, Tesla 121.69, uh, another 21 cents, and we've got a new high of the day being matched here on Tesla shares. Only down a buck 86. We were down six seven dollars, down as much as seven eight dollars in the pre market. That ended real quick. Uh, the analysts are now thinking like. I think they're thinking like I'm thinking. Maybe investors are thinking like I'm thinking. A price cut on Tesla vehicles uh, just solidifies their lead uh, against everybody else. And with a $7,500 tax credit on top of these price cuts, Tesla vehicles are a bargain compared to other vehicles out there. And what you're getting and the, the track record of these vehicles, the reliability of these vehicles, uh, I don't see a lot of abandoned Teslas on the side of the road here. Uh, they seem to work quite well. Uh, interesting how this is working out. Uh, SoFi 546, Apple 134.36, HPQ at 28.04, uh, just off 50 cents. Google up 57, Moderna up a dollar nine, Cisco down 11, Pfizer up 27 cents, IBM up 30. So we got some gains here, and we're up 61 on the uh, the Dow. Uh, that is where we are at, everybody. Welcome to uh, the uh, party and the final hour of trading. Uh, we are getting close to uh, finishing off the week. 40 minutes to go. Uh, giddy up, I say. Um, let's see what else is happening. Um, Joe, Uncle Bruce, do we mail you for the Discord chat link? Uh, send me an email asking me, uh, telling me you'd like to become part of Discord. I will send you over to uh, someone else who will then help you get in. So that's kind of the gateway to do it. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, what else is going on here? Brian is saying, I love it. My covered calls are down 53% and 80%. I love a nice dark red. This is good. Um, and Wing Commander, Uncle Bruce, I still have several HPQ uh, $26 strikes uh, for next week. I got $1.70 for these. Currently, they're trading at two. Uh, I am looking into rollover. Uh, 26 is for Feb 17, um, 250, uh, or the 27s for Feb 14, around two bucks. So you can definitely move uh, move higher and strike. And since they are coming up next week, yeah. So your 26s. Um, trading at about two because the stock right now is 2807. So this is the perfect time to make this move. Um, your, your 26s are trading at basically book value. So 
uh, roll them now into uh, Feb. You can move them into Feb 17s. Uh, uh, those are 26s, yeah. Uh, or you can go into the 27s for Feb 24. Uh, that's, a, that's a flat with another move, with a higher move on the strike. Um, or take a look into March and see if you can pull March uh, uh, March 7, 27s or March 28s. Take a look at what you can get there. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure if there's 2750s available. Uh, maybe you can get even more money. That would be a nice move too. Not only move up and strike, but get more money to do it. Good stuff, man. Um, not a lurker anymore. Careful, we would get 80,000 subscribers in. Uh, I'm not sure what this means. Okay, um, what's going on here? Um, bread is extra, says Beach Boy. Um, mm, 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 yeah, Matthew, I rearranged a bunch of my cover calls. I have been saying a lot of thank yous today. Susan shops about 100 thumbs ups. Marcus, 100. Marcus, or 101. We at the same time, Susan shops about here. Um, good stuff, everybody. Um, and uh, go so far. Posting my trades, I had shorted five stocks, covered three, made good money on FL uh c r w d and x working on two other hopefully to get the cover today if not on monday for sure right on uh monday the markets are not open so it'll be tuesday the markets are re open again okay we're closed monday uh i'm off monday bobby uncle bruce is the key master beach point is the gatekeeper there's only tiff there you go um <laughs> yeah thank you everybody <laughs> Uh, ATIP rising again, says Alex, uh, 42.1, um, 8.7 cents higher. And uh, Beach Boy, Alberta, no markets on Monday. Yep, Martin Luther King Day. Yes, indeed, folks. ATIP now, 42.1, last trade on a volume of 2,127,000. Uh, this stock is definitely uh, nearer, nearer its high than its low. Uh, and what a day of trading today. Uh, very interesting. Been waiting for the breakout. I've been waiting and waiting and wait, telling you to get in and grab this cheap stock. And uh, here we are finally inching higher. And here we go. Uh, we're up 84 on the Dow. That's the high of the day right now. We're only down 17 cents on GameStop. Tesla is 122.13. High of the day here. Uh, 143 down dip. That's all we have on Tesla. Could we end in the green today? We could. Uh, SoFi 544 up nine. Apple up a buck now, 134.42. We're on HPQ at 28.08, uh, down uh, 47 cents. Google 92.50 up 59. Um, Moderna up a dollar. Cisco down just a nickel now. Pfizer up 21. IBM up 35. Microsoft down three cents me up one and a half rocket lab up 16 to 499 matterport down eight smart rent up nine and a half 277 and a half spire up three and a half to 125 and a half six terra up a penny 236 good day there we've got some gains here we're following and uh we are uh, definitely enjoying the atip run up there is no question about that uh, okay, uh, very good. Um, uh, <laughs> welcome one, welcome all to the craziness. We have um, 106 thumbs ups and counting. Thank you everybody for helping out. Let's see if we can get to 150 of those today. We got a good crowd here. Appreciate this. Um, and all of you who are here, thank you for these thumbs ups, your words of encouragement. Thank you for those of you making donations today. You guys have been great. Picking up classes, way to go, guys. I'm glad to see a number of you making moves here. You're definitely picking up these uh, poor man covered call classes, of which there are several. Uh, rollover classes, which you need to know about. The 90-10 rule, uh, stink bid, stink offers, the psychology of the market. You have got to be on this stuff. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get killed by these option players. They're going to out they're going to out money you. You've got to make the big money, not just the gain. You've got to make a nice gain on your trades. <clears throat> the better you become now as a small trader, the more prolific you're going to be as a medium size and larger trader. And this is where the money really flows to you. Um, it's time. 43.99 on ATIP. That's a 44 cent quote out there. Uh, we're pushing it higher again. The high of the day, 48 cents on ATIP. Uh, the low was 35 cents this morning. That's where we were at. We're now at 44 cents a share, up a dime here, 10.6 cents a share. 
Uh, that means uh, every, as I say, every, any of you who have 10,000 shares, you're up $1,000 today. Anybody who's got 20,000 shares, you're up two grand. Not bad uh, for a good old ATIP to give you a little bit of gain today. And we're going to go higher. This is nothing. We haven't even started yet. Remember, it's got to go over a dollar to get off of the uh, notification from the New York Stock Exchange. Because uh, under a dollar, they can't stay there. But they do have six months to do it. They still have about four and a half months to make it. So he, these little this little run today of 10 cents, that's a nice start. Uh, let's go and see if we can add to it all next week. And the uh, sooner the better. Okay, everybody. Welcome all. Uh, what we need now is a little more cowbell. There you go. Uh, I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Uh, yeehaw, guys. Welcome to the party, pals. It's great to have you here. 80-point gain on the Dow, 12 and a half on S&P. NASDAQ up 60. That's five, that's a half a percentage point on NASDAQ, 0.3 on S&P, and only 0.23 on the Dow. The Dow is only half of what the NASDAQ is doing. This is good stuff. Fun, fun times. Uh, 148 gain on oil, 79.87 today. That's what we have. Uh, lame duck number 107. Thank you, lame duck. I appreciate these um, thumbs ups as they keep coming on through here. Beautiful. 2040 on GameStop down 24 cents. ATIP 44 up 10.6 cents a share. Uh, Tesla 122.09 down 147. SoFi at 5.45 up nine. Apple now up 108 at 134.47 now 106. So there you go. Interesting, interesting session here as we watch uh, the final minutes go through. 32 more, and we will be done for the week. Uh, what else can I talk to you about? Uh, the Bank of Japan was really interfering and in, in intervening in its uh, currency today. Um, I, I know a number of you don't really care for that so much, but I bring it up from time to time. The U.S. 10-year Treasury is at 3.50%, kind of flatlining there. The euro is at 108.2. Um, it's dropped a quarter of a penny today. The yen is up almost one and a half cents to 127.90. Uh, it has been climbing all day. The, the yen was as high as 150 a couple months ago. Now it's uh, at 127.80. That means it's climbing against the U.S. dollar. Uh, takes fewer yen to buy a U.S. dollar than before. The pound is uh, gaining a fifth of a point today, so it's a mixed bag. Uh, the uh, the pound, the euro is negative, and the pound is positive. That's where we're at there. As far as um, uh, uh, the Europe markets go, they were up today about uh, 0 0.6 uh, in uh, London. The Germany is up a fifth of a point. France up 0.7 practically. Uh, but in America right now, we got a 70-point Dow gain. Uh, it's been pretty steady all afternoon here. Uh, S&P up 11, NASDAQ up 61. This is the high of the day for NASDAQ. Uh, looks like the high of the day for S&P, and the Dow has been pushing the high of the day at, at around 80, very close to this level. 79.86 on oil, trying to break through 80 again, um, and it was in the 78, 78 and a half range this morning. All right, kids, that's what we show. 80-point gain right now on the Dow just popped in again. We're at 2044 on, uh, on GameStop, down 19 cents. Okay, there you have it. Um, let's go here. 43.7 on um, ATIP. Volume now is uh, 2.13 million today. Um, a little pop here coming in towards the last uh, half hour of the day now. Uh, we've had a, a slight pop higher on ATIP. All right, guys, thank you all for uh, for popping through here. Um, let's see. Uh, Uncle Bruce, do you have an opening for a one-on-one? -on -one? I have an opening Sunday. Um, I've got I got I got a booking here, but I do have an opening. Um, if you want a two two o'clock opening, let me know. Um, Karim, uh, Karen, number tw 112, go so far. Of course, I'm hurting on my Netflix short, but not worried as what goes up must come down rule. Gotcha. Alex, Beach Boy, Larry's always one step ahead. I expect his pre-polishes. Uh, Beach Boy, Alex, there's curing and then there's pre-polishing. D 
DQ, you guys are so wrong. Larry makes money in the market. He has someone polish his bells for him. Robert Benson, number 114, thumbs up. Um, lot, not a lurker. Oh, man, this Friday chat is so entertaining. Uh, Mirko, hey, Uncle Bruce, I know the 9010 rule, but I just sold Tesla, 100 Tesla, and then I bought two calls. I got a Tesla 95 and a Tesla 100. These expired June 2025. Uh, with 300 cash still in my account. So I paid around $60 a call to double my leverage is what he's doing here. Now he wants to write, he wants to write two calls on that instead of one call with the stock. That's what he's doing. Uh, he's paying uh, um, some premium for that, uh, but he's going to June 2025, which is out of ways. And this is a stock that has very high premiums, but... Uh, you know, you want to definitely take advantage of these premiums and score them ASAP, my friend. Bobby, okay, Discord installed and set up email to Uncle Bruce for access. Sent Alex, DQ, you got me wondering. Um, Beach Boy, DQ, sends to two, there's a disturbance in the force. Mirko, 888 days to write. I have 888 days to write on those calls. 888 days. Flair, Uncle Bruce, do you think there's a high percentage of chance that ATP goes to 50 or 60 next week? uh there's always that percentage but um you know uh, you're talking about the stock doubling in one week from 25 30 to 60 50 60. uh look uh, the shares reached the low of what is or whatever it was 22 cents in, in december here we are at 43 we've already hit 48 so we've already done a double uh could it go another dime sure it could i uh, just don't know when but splare i you know I, I like it long term, not short term. I just I just like the company. Period. So whatever uh, it it'll go. It has to go beyond fifty sixty to avoid delisting. So you know the dollar target is the minimum here and beyond. Merco, I have three hundred more shares. Thinking about doing that with them too. I see what you're doing. So you you go with four hundred shares, turning it into eight deep in the money calls for June twenty twenty five on Tesla, and then write with 888 days i got it yeah double the number of options that's bringing in some serious income to help breeze deuce your cost miracle hope you kept that short open yesterday and cashed in today says dq bobby uh dkng has had a good week as well Mirko, so i would go from four to right to eight with 1500 cash and with that i'd, I'd buy a gamestop jan 25 and i've got another in the money call there you go, swear. Then I do it only long term from now on. Next month, I probably can affect to go at least midterm. Mirko, DQ, yes, I did in the morning, says uh, Mirko. Okay. We're up 83 and a half on the Dow. Still down 30 on GameStop. ATIP at 44 cents now, up 10.6 cents today. Uh, the high on ATIP has been 48 cents. Uh, we have 2.14 million traded here. Looking pretty interesting today. Uh, Tesla, 121.97, up down 159 now. SoFi, 544, 545. It's up about 9, 10 cents. Apple up 125 to 134.66. We're pushing the high of the day on Apple, uh, three cents away. Yep, we've been doing it right here. Uh, the Apple shares are hitting the highs of the day as we're coming into the final 26 minutes. And this is helping the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ go higher. Apple is a powerful force on these indexes. The money is coming into Apple stock. HBQ 2809 down 46. Google now up 84 cents. Google at 92.75. And this must be the high of the day. It is the high of the day on Google. So these FANG stocks are starting to show the high trades of the day with 20 something minutes to go. That's an interesting sign of power coming in here. There's money coming in late. Um, people want to be long stock. Microsoft is in the green. It is green, 20% high, uh, 20 cents higher per share. Uh, we are at the high today, 238.71. This is the high day on Microsoft. So Apple, Microsoft, Google are all at the day's highs right now. Amazon is almost at its day's high, 98.20 range. Um, yeah, we got some power coming into this market. ME is holding a one and a half cent gain at 240 and a half. Rocket Lab 497.4 up 14.4. Matterport is only down six and a half cents, but it's coming on right now. 312. Smart Rent up nine to 277. Spire up three and a half to 125 and a half. And Sextera is up a penny, $2.36. So we have some green showing here. 101, 101 point gain on the Dow. 
a definite uptick with Microsoft, Apple, and Google hitting day highs. The FANG stocks are climbing. The markets are moving. 105, 107 on the Dow, 15 on S&P, a 70-point gain on NASDAQ. Got some buying coming in here. Uh, we're at 44 cents on ATIP. We're at uh, Tesla 122.07, climbing a little bit again. Uh, still down 149. The high today 122.36, 29 cents away from the high today on Tesla. SoFi 546 up nine. Apple now up 138 to 134.79. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, Merkel, that $30,000 goal that Uncle Bruce is setting is coming into reach per month. Zeta State, Uncle Bruce, these GameStop 17s, we're still holding and uh, wait before we roll. What do you think? Like I've said before, if they're trading mostly book value, you can look for a roll up. Take a look at a uh, month or two forward uh, where you are and see if you can move into 18s or 19s. Uh, maybe 20s, see what you can get for them. Uh, take a look. Otherwise, wait till Monday. Beach Boy, it, it is strange that I can translate DQ by now. Coyote S&P pushing 39, 99, 99. Um, DQ translate Beach Boy. I think I'm fairly clear in my messages. Alex Tiff, great point. Just taking a look at my deep money calls and my cover calls are all green today. Splare, and a question about my options. I've forgotten. Would you recommend to take my May 1625 strike and roll it into the 20 July because at nine it would get really tricky for me to roll it over. Um, again, uh, just you know, whatever you can afford when you can. Uh, if you're rolling up and strike, you're adding wealth to your bottom line here. Uh, you're already gaining on your deep in the money call or your shares. So keep an eye. Uh, Merkel, my thought is with Tesla down here at 120, doubling down is kind of smart until July 25. It should be more, one more time above 250, then I'm really laughing on this thing. Well, with deep in the money calls, you will be able to roll them over and roll up on them. Yeah. Is ATIP halted, uh, people are asking? Um, I do not know. Does anyone know if ATIP is halted? Um, I'm showing it at 44 cents right now. Um, 2.145 million. I do not know. If anyone knows, let us in on it. Um, does Credit Savage, Uncle Bruce, last week I sold some GameStop, $15 covered calls, uh, March, and some 18s for next week. Those are both in the money, obviously. Should I wait till next Friday on the 18th next week or roll Marches? What are your thoughts? Can you get more money? Are you able to get more money now? Uh, do you have to look at Aprils and get more money? Um, can you move higher? That's that's the question. Uh, BW, yes, says DQ. Uh, TIP is halted. ATIP is halted. Uh, Bobby, uh, next Friday is a month is the monthly for options. That should open up uh, May and June for better rolling up. Mirko, got to risk it for the biscuit. Laugh not loud. And Marcus, ATIP is not halted. There you are. So. I'm not sure what to make of it. I don't see any announcements. I haven't seen any announcements. Anybody see anything? I've seen nothing. Uh, just just buying coming in, uh, grabbing up the stock here. Now at $44. We're down to 21 minutes. Um, James, uh, I bought back GameStop, $24, um, uh, March 1721. Uh, I bought back GameStop, 24 March 17th, I sold the 2,400 shares and bought 48 January 25 10s, wrote 48 March 17 24s for no loss in premiums. I only own the shares for um, options and I like this better. What are your thoughts? Well, way to go. You're now at, you now can write 48 contracts at a time instead of 24. Uh, this, you know, if you score a, a one, two dollar turnover every time you roll over contracts, we're talking now ninety six hundred dollars profit on on a two dollar turnover. In other words, you sell at four, buy at two, or sell at three, buy at one, or, or sell at three fifty, buy at one fifty. You do that, you're 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 talking some serious money here. This is good stuff, uh, James. Uh, goodbye to the James day job is getting closer. Uh, so yeah, actually the sixteen twenty fives are at six six eighty now. But next week, maybe it's getting a little time shrinkage. And my deep in the money was taken out yesterday at 950 with a 320 profit. It, it was uh, January 1250. Well, yeah, like I say, my friend, you you know, you have these uh, you have these choices. Um, you know, you, you can move into uh, into uh, other 
other calls. I mean, obviously we're down a quarter today on GameStop, but uh, the 1625s have come down a titch today, I guess. I don't know how much time you have left now, whether this move can be done today or, or wait, wait till Monday. Obviously, Monday, if we drop, you know, 30, 40, 60 cents on the opening, uh, if that happens, then you're able to maybe buy these back in the low sixes and right forward, whatever. I mean, you, you're studying the options, chain. You know what you're doing now. Uh, Goyote, 48 calls. Yeah, that's good stuff. DQ, it's moving again. Uh, 43.9 on ATIP Spirit. Now, where I think about the time shrinkage on the old call, I go on like it is and do nothing. At least I have already 20 bucks already from yesterday on rolling over. Beach Boy. Uh, wow. ATIP is up 30%. Haven't seen this since GameStop squeeze. Splinter. Yeah, I just I just wait. Great thanks anyway. Keeping me calm. Goyote. Beach Boy, did you miss BBBY this week? It climbed over 70% in one day. Yeah, stay away from that. I've been begging you guys stay away. 20 35 on GameStop, down 28. The Dow's up 129 points. ATIP, 43.9. Tesla, 122.02, down 154. SoFi, 544. Apple, 134.80, up 139. Watching the final 18 minutes of the week. All the option shenanigans are going on right now. Is GameStop being held around 20? Is it being held back from going higher? I don't know. It's the end of the option chain. We have lots of options expiring. Those $20 GameStop calls are in the money. 30 cents. Will the stock hold that or will it close at $19.99 today? What is going to happen? I uh, don't know. Uh, interesting. JP Morgan Chase and Caterpillar shares are moving the Dow higher right now. We're up 17 on the S&P and up 73 on NASDAQ. NASDAQ 0.67. The Dow's up 0.38. Still almost a two to one ratio. For the uh, uh, for the Nasdaq market over the Dow market, <clears throat> ATIP forty three point nine cents last trade two point one five million from from what I see here. Trade it today, okay? Uh, fun times. Is ATIP taking another shot? I'll drink with her. Uh, we'll see how this goes, kids. Welcome to the party, pals. Welcome to the party. 140 point gain on the Dow. Another pop higher. Thank you for the 120 thumbs ups, guys. 30 more. We got 150. Thank you all. Not bad for a Friday. Usually Fridays are much quieter. <coughs> Very good stuff, kids. Very good stuff here. Lots happening on this marketplace. Um, there you go. Um, I don't know if very many of you watch my other channel. I, I don't know if any of you do, uh, but uh, my Traveling with Bruce channel, I've had a video uh, wake up uh, from the from the ether. It, it, it's popping. Uh, it's a video I made from Hem Hamburg, Germany, back in um, June, late June. And it was all about the miniature museum that I visited. And uh, the video... Uh, got really quiet, which they usually do after a couple of months. I was doing five views a day, three, nothing, just nothing. All of a sudden, a uh, couple of hundred views a day coming through on this video. Unbelievable. I'm really pleased about it. Um, I can't uh, necessarily explain why, uh, but I got to say, uh, um, I'm happy about how this video is uh, uh, uh doing uh this is really something if you have an interest in checking it out and helping the channel go higher uh that would be kind of nice i can certainly show you the link i have to find my own video though <laughs> uh huh uh twb on twb uh let's see if i can find it here <laughs> this this is this miniature museum is just unbelievable um yeah, here, there it is. There, it was. It was absolutely uh, amazing how the uh, how that museum was laid out. I was just blown away. There it is. I see it right there. Uh, let's see if I can make this work. Uh, if you'd like to uh, help out that channel a little bit, I would love it. Um, let me uh, let me give you a copy of the link if you dare to want to go see it. This is the mini wonderland video you get some chime check this out there it is right there 
that's the uh, video to my uh, my video over there. And it's about it goes about thirty minutes. So you don't have to watch all of it, but uh, I had a field day with Jen doing this. Uh, it was really neat to see uh, this little place. Uh, like I said, if you had a chance, check it out over the weekend. Anyway, thank you all so much uh, for being here. How you doing on your options? Is anyone making money? How's it going? Um, let's see here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you know, Tiff is saying, you know, maybe the the, the AT, ATIP could say that they're going to go public. They're going to go bankrupt just like Bed Bath Beyond. The stock will go up 200, 300%. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what's going on here. Um, and... Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see uh, what's going on here. Uh, DQ. I'm holding 120s. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, I wrote Jan 20 strike 124 for 422 yesterday. Says Tiff. Um, uh, let's see. Um, do you use TubeBuddy to track your videos? Uh, I do use TubeBuddy uh, to help with my thumbnails and stuff. DQ March 17 120s. They're in the 15 range, I think. Christina. Oh, okay. I like that video. I'd like that video laughing out loud. There you go. Well, if you would, you would. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's picking up. It's going mini viral. <laughs> I have had videos on the other channel that will be it'll do nothing. And then they do 300 a day, 800 a day, 1,000 views a day, 3,000 views a day. I mean, they just – and they run for weeks. They'll do 150,000 views in like a month and a half, and then they'll go quiet again. Then they'll pick up again, and they'll go quiet. The algorithms are weird. Uh, they, they, they're just amazing. This particular video has absolutely awoken. There's a second video I made about the Wonderland uh, Part 2. It's picking up uh, volume. Uh, and uh, what can I say? I'm just trying to help the video catch more views from more sources. So if any of you watch that video, you're helping the channel. I appreciate it. It's waking that thing up. I've been amazed at how little the videos have been watched from Europe on the other channel. But then again, I'm not. those are not cruise ship videos. Those are just vacation videos. I understand it. Anyway, there you go. Thank you all. Um, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Karim, I'm not sure if you saw my message, but in your opinion, ATIP is a fundamental play, not just a squeeze play. Yeah, it's a fundamental play. The company... Uh, can't keep up with the demand for their services. They're desperately trying to hire enough therapists over 930 therapy centers to meet the demand of their business. This is a growing concern. I believe they will add additional therapists all this year, all next year. I believe their numbers will go higher on how many customers they service. I believe physiotherapy is in rising demand, not declining demand. I think these guys are going to make money. I think they're going to add more, more locations. I wouldn't be surprised if they acquire other competitors that are smaller than them and swallow them up. I just don't know when, how, and what. It's just the shares have been so ridiculously cheap, ridiculously cheap, that I think they've been shorted badly, and now the shorters are getting their butts handed to them today, and I'm hoping this continues for a while. As an added bonus to the whole thing but that's just me that's just me all right uh deuce caboose what is sofi up to per week on deposits another 150 million congrats on another 150 million sofi um uh oh you read my text already. i went to the link and i liked the video for you thank you christina appreciate that dq cream yes uncle bruce sees um atip is a long play not a short squeeze in or out um, I have a fancy video from Lego Browser at GamesCon, my second best video from the views. And said I made it only 30 seconds long. So split. Brian, I think all the SPACs are long plays with good fundamentals. Splayer, otherwise it's really hard to make good European visit because most Europeans shirt at search after videos from the U.S. Same as some Asians, probably some Americans as well. Deuce Caboose, ATIP said on the last conference call, they aren't adding new centers until they get their stuff figured out. But I think they will get their stuff figured out, and they will add new centers. I really do believe so. Merco, I watched all the Europe videos, maybe because I've been most places. It was very nice to see the North American perspective. Christina, I sold a 127 Tesla for next week. I got a buck ninety nine, uh, and that's uh, that's six dollars out of the money. Yeah, five six dollars out of the money. Interesting. SoFi 545 up nine, ATIP at 43 cents up 9.7, GameStop 2037 down 26, Dow is up 98 points. Giddy up, we have nine minutes left in our session today. Nine minutes left, thank you all. 
for being here and hanging out with us. It's uh, nice of you to come and visit us. I appreciate it. And I hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend. It's a long weekend for me. Uh, I'm Monday off, and long means, that means a long weekend for you guys. Uh, 43.89 on ATIP right now, up 10.5 cents uh, right at the moment is where we're at here. Um, giddy up, giddy up. Tesla premiums are just insane right now, says Tiff. Alberto, ATIP has many locations. DQ extra day of uh, Thea Decay next week on those options. Pat, what do you know about Spire's future, Bruce? Uh, what do you know about Spire's uh, future? Um, I, and I love the SPACs that I've recommended. I like them uh, long term as going businesses. I think Spire, they keep hiring people. They keep adding new contracts for satellite management. This is a utility in the satellite business. I think these guys are going to make tons of money. They're just building a huge base of clients, governments, and space agencies. The satellite business is booming. Uh, the demand for data flow is unbelievable. I think these guys are in a great business. It's good to see the stock at 126 instead of 90-something cents. That's a nice change of pace. The low for the stock is 86 cents. It's nice to see it up you know, about 50% from that, but I want to see this over 10 bucks a share. 126 for Spire. Six day 236 up one and a half. Spire up four. Smart Rent up eight and a half. Matterport down seven and a half. Rocket Lab up 14 and a half. ME up one and a half. And then there is SoFi, uh, 544 up nine. <clears throat> We're up 86 on the Dow. GameStop is just off 23 cents today, kind of holding most of the gains for the week here. I'm not complaining about GameStop. ATIP, 43.6, 43.5 in this range, 43.62 now, uh, trading in one hundredths of a penny. Um, all kinds of activity here on ATIP. Um, and Alex, Deuce, have you been following the managerial changes at ATIP? Deuce, I agree. Uncle Bruce um, says Goose Goose. I think they will add new locations long term if they make it. But I think it's the right call, tightening the belt and getting the current locations figured out. Maria, you guys have a great week and I'll be ta taking a class. Right on, Maria. You make it happen. Um, if you have any questions, you know who to, you just let me know. All right, Tiff. Pat, um, Spire is very active on their investor relation page. You should check it out. And this is a good sign. They're getting active. Others are getting more active. I We need all of these companies, these former SPACs, to have very active investor relations pages. They have got to keep getting the news out. Hint to, to GameStop, you could be doing the same thing. Get news out, no matter how trivial it is. Get news out. Get people talking about your stock. Just raise awareness. Zach, 200 more ATIP at 43 and a half. Had to get a piece of this party today, says so Zach. <laughs> Right on, 43 cents, 43.01 is where we're at on ATIP. We have six minutes left to go. What a crazy day today. We're up 88 and a half on the Dow. Uh, the GameStop just off 21 cents. And uh, we're at 122.10 on Tesla. SoFi, 544 up nine. Apple up $1.13. There you go. Uh, thank you all for these thumbs ups. 129 and counting. Fabulous, guys. Absolutely fabulous. Alberto, good night. See most of y'all in Discord. I appreciate you, Uncle, waking up at 3 a.m. to assist us simpletons. You are the GOAT. Thank you, Alberto. Alberto, as always, and your donations are, well, very much appreciated. Uh, keep making money, my friend. Uh, I love it. Not a lurker anymore. Bought some more ATIP. Go so far. Main B, one of us can approach them to write articles for those guys. Uh, uh, not a lurker, Discord, Discord, Discord. Uh, not a lurker anymore, laughing out loud. Um, 101 point gain on the Dow. We're surging up again. Um, moving higher, moving higher. Uh, 122.25 on Tesla, down only 130 on the day. Uh, there's It's been a recovery week for Tesla. It's interesting to see how it performs after hours. And next week, SoFi 544, Apple 134.70. Now 134.72, Apple another two pennies higher. HPQ down 64.27.90. Google 92.82 up 91. Moderna up 378. Cisco down 13 cents. Pfizer up 14. IBM up 33. Microsoft up 79. ME up 2. Rocket Lab up 14.5. 
Matterport down seven and a half. Smart ran up eight and a half. Spire up three. Sixter up two. There you go. 105 point gain on the Dow Jones now uh, as we're coming into final four minutes. GameStop only down 15 cents. 2048 coming on. Very interesting. A 0.71% gain on NASDAQ, 78 point gain, 16 points on SP, and 109 on the Dow Jones. Interesting, interesting stuff. Yep, a uh-huh. dollar fifty-four gain on oil today. All right, there you go, guys. There you go. Moderna over one ninety. Wow, says DQ. Uh, Wing Commander, have a great weekend, everybody. Giddy up. Yeah, DQ. You know what? You don't have to worry about this stock price at these levels. What you received for your premium was so juicy. Uh, they're just going to keep shrinking anyway. Uh, this stock has to really gallop to put you into trouble. Um, and you know what? You're richer no matter what. You're just you're just richer on this thing, and uh, we'll monitor it. Keep monitoring it. Jr. Uncle Bruce, 1,300, 1.3,000 on my ATIP. Uh, I'm up. I'm sorry. I'm up. I'm up thirteen hundred dollars on my ATIP. Go Rugman, go. Or does he superhero support that make prices go up? I don't know. DQ. I hope I get exercised on my January 2025 Moderna 180s. Take me out with that fat premium. Thank you. He's laughing. Marcus, Tesla earnings 118. That's why 120 premiums are high. Interesting. DQ, yeah, I'm good to 260 and change, says DQ. Take me out. Come on, take me out. I got 80 bucks for those calls. Take take me out. Yeah, like, go ahead. Buy me. Buy me. It's okay. It's all right. 109 is the gain on the Dow Jones. 109 points. The GameStop's only down 18 cents. Uh, ATIP sitting at 43 cents, up 9.6. We got two minutes to go. Tesla, 122.45, down 111. SoFi, 5.44, up 8. Apple, up 136. Um, from me as well, says Splare. Uh, and happy, have a relaxed, enjoyable weekend to all of you. Thank you, Splare. You enjoy yourself in Dortmund, my friend. We'll see you on Tuesday. Looking forward to that. Uh, we are up now 117 on the Dow coming in. To the final minute with um, additional gains coming through on these markets, definitely better. Uh, will ATIP hold these levels, or is there a seller lurking in the wing to nail the stock in the last few seconds, or are there buyers lurking in the wings to get in? I don't know. ATIP forty three cents uh, at the moment. Now I show now I show forty two, and I'm showing it um, on two point two three million two million two hundred thirty five thousand. 42 last trade over on this device, 43 on that device. Watching the last minute come through. Uh, very, very interesting. Alex is thinking it might be libation time. Uh, definitely in London, I would think so. Uh, in the UK, it's got to be libation time. Uh, yeah, uh, 42 cents on ATIP. We're down 27 on GameStop. We're up 105 on the Dow. We got the last minute going through. Waiting to fill us up, fill, finish this off. Larry's going to hit those bells for us. Tesla down 115 at 122.41. Uh, not a bad recovery on t- on Tesla today. And we're at 544 up nine on SoFi. Uh, thank you. Um, Splair says, take care, everybody. Enjoy your day. An extra day to chill. DQ, I used to know this guy who rang bells at market open and close, says DQ. <laughs> We're up 105. Uh, quite the week, says Coyote. It was quite the week. 2040 up down 22 on GameStop. 39.8 on ATIP. We did get a lurker coming in to nail it at the bell. Uh, trading at 40 on ATIP. We have a seller coming in right at the end to hit that bid to make it look bad. Interesting. You're not fooling us. Uh, Larry, the bells of wrong. DQ says thanks, Larry. 40 to 42 is the last range of ATIP trading here. There was a seller that lurked in at the very end. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. We're not done yet on that. Bama Babe, thanks, Larry. Tiff, this week was great. Larry, he's still here, always lurking. Splare, thank you, Larry. Tiff, I love the gains on our SPACs this week. 40 cents last trade that I think I see on ATIP, up 6.6 cents on 2.28 million. Maybe 50,000 came through at the end. Uh, looks like we're closing at about 40 on the day, the high of the day, 48. And we haven't seen levels like that in a while. So this should be an interesting week coming up for ATIP. A lot of people over the weekend will be asking, what happened? What's going on? Why is it doing this? <laughs> 
Deuce, Uncle Bruce, when did short selling become a thing? Uh, DQ, I see ATIP closing at 42.71. BW, the final sale in ATIP is just shy of 45,000 uh, 45, shares. Uh, don't know what that means. A AJ, have a great long weekend, everybody. BW, the, to smack it down. Somebody smacked, came in with 45,000 shares to sell. I see what you're saying. Uh, we're just watching these last trickling trades come through, and we'll see what uh, what gives. Thank you all for being here and hanging, hanging out for this crazy week. 112 point gain on the Dow. GameStop lost 18 cents only. Tesla lost only a dollar 16 today at 122.40. We're poised for a breakout on Tesla. Uh, SoFi 544 up eight, uh, poised for 550 and beyond. Apple 134.76 up 135. Mandu, uh, Mandu 5, have a great weekend yourself. Thank you for being here with us this week. What a week it was. 15.8 uh, point gain on S&P. NASDAQ up 78, oil up 154. Okay. There you have it. Uh, fun times. Uh, we'll see what gives now as we move forward through the weekend into next week and uh, see what everyone is saying out there on uh, Wall Street bets and uh, all these other sites, uh, you know, we got uh, got the online community that'll do a lot of speculating out there. One never knows. Thank you for 135 thumbs ups today for the afternoon show, guys. That is beautiful stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, Bama Babe, yep, I'm not sure how to trade on these weeks that have all the green days, laughing out loud. I used to love these kinds of weeks. Now it is, what the hey, um, JR, have a great week, uh, a weekend, everybody. Remember, no market. Or Uncle Bruce on Monday, what will we do? DQ, Bama, babe, laughing out loud. Uh, buy some shares, sell them higher. There you go. We'll see you on Monday. If any of you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, there's a couple of openings on Sunday available. Uh, just send me an email and we'll set you up. Otherwise, we'll see you on Monday morning. Grab a class this weekend. Do some studying. Uh, get much more familiar with the 90-10 rule. Learn rollovers. You got to learn how to do this. Um, and this is a good week to figure this out. Could be a fun week next week. Larry, have a good long weekend, everybody. Go so far. Um, I'll be making at least 40 grand on Tuesday morning the way the stocks close today. Christina, I say we all go spam this week, this traveling show videos. Uh, let's go and like the videos. I, that's what I say. Head over to TWB, Traveling with Bruce. Like all my videos over there. Check them out. Abama Babe, DQ, Lap of Love. Thanks for the tip. There you go. <laughs> All right, kids, that's it from uh, this channel. This guy, I see now ATIP trading at 42.7 in the after hours, up 2.7 cents. So the ATIP uh, did get a slam seller at the end of the day, and now we're up to 42.71 in the after hours on ATIP, 16,400 traded. I don't have any news that I'm aware of. I, I don't see any news. I'm not aware of any news, but if any of you are, are able to find anything on it, let me know. We'll keep an eye open for that, but I'll take the gains and let's keep them coming next week. Wouldn't it be nice if we get that ATIP through 50 and head our way to 60? Let's go, baby. That would be just D E and lightful, uh, all in one. All right, there you go. Thank you, guys. Uh, enjoy. Uh, thank you, everybody. John Anderson. Thank you, Christina. DQ, Bama, babe. Uh, Go SoFi. Larry Titus. Thank you all for being here today. JR, BW, Mandu. Uh, great to have you here. Deuce Caboose. Tiff, of course, and all the others. Beach Boy and uh, Splair and Wing Commander. Not a lurker anymore. Zach, Cindy, everybody. Thank you. Uh, Miss Powell, thank you. Everyone, enjoy your weekend. Have a great one. I'll see you Tuesday right here to see how this market takes off yet again with another crazy week in front of us should be fun make sure to give everyone you uh, love an extra long hug this weekend you never know when it's the last time thanks guys the old surfer high and by number 136 bama babe everybody have a nice long one splare at uh, 60 i'm in the money on 600 units first trade right on splare the explorer would be lovely. Goyote, a uh, good week all. Got some arm folding and rollover practice. So wonder what next week will hold for us. See you all Tuesday. We'll miss you all Monday. Splair says it all right there. Neat, neat, neat. Absolutely right. Okay, guys. Talk to you on Tuesday. Bye for now.